Are you having trouble understanding some of these characters' ornate language and fancy schmancy ways of speaking? That's not just Elizabethan English you're responding to. It's Shakespeare's second theme in action. I don't know about you, but reading Benedict, Claudio, and Don Pedro's speeches often got my tongue tied up in knots, not to mention my brain. That's because they all speak in the kind of colorful, witty banter that was standard for Renaissance courtiers. Their fanciful language was supposed to win over their love interests, even if it doesn't win you over. But Shakespeare isn't celebrating this approach to social interactions, he's making fun of it. You can tell because Claudio's desperate attempts to be the perfect courtier ultimately get him into trouble. Remember that in the beginning of the play, Claudio allows Don Pedro to woo Hero for him, only to find out that Don Pedro is trying to steal Hero for himself. Well, that doesn't turn out to be true, and good thing for Claudio, since he's more than ready to give up the girl to stay in Don Pedro's good favor. And then later, Claudio chooses his own social standing over finding out the truth about Hero. He is all too ready to forget love and publicly condemn her for something she didn't even do. So what's Shakespeare's second theme? It's the danger of giving up everything in the interest of social grace and appearances.